Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Mama, we're not moving. This taxi isn't even moving. Claudia, sit back and relax. Oh, I never saw such traffic in my life. Complaining about it isn't going to help. Sit back and relax. But Mama, David is waiting on the corner of Madison Avenue and 49th Street. We're to meet him at 5 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock now. Here we are, stuck at 39th and 5th Avenue. Ten blocks. We'll never get there. We'll get there. Just sit back. Oh, this is driving me crazy. We took a taxi so we wouldn't be late, and look what happened. We haven't moved for the last five minutes. This is a very rush hour. Well, if everybody else is rushing, why aren't we going faster? Claudia, sit back. What good is sitting back? Oh, David will disown me. If there's anything he hates, it's being kept waiting. And that's not David. That's men. Well, then, men is always accusing me of not getting places on time. Just this once... When I allowed us plenty of time, look what happened. We'll explain it to David. He won't eat you. That'll be even worse. Driver, please, what's the matter here? What's the matter, miss? Yes. Well, him then, that's what's the matter. Uh, Traffic is all jammed up at the intersection. The cars going east ain't turning off the avenue, you know what I mean? And the cars going south can't get across the street. The cars going north are just plain stuck well, like then, us. Why don't you get off the down and you get on to Madison? Miss... If I could budge, I'd get off this street completely. Driving during rush hours ain't no pastime for a married man. What's that got to do with it? Well, look what driving a hack does to a guy's disposition. The cops won't let you turn right, and they got signs that won't let you turn left. The lights don't let you move. Eh, they should all drop dead. Well, I certainly wish I were dead. They should take all the buses off the street and all the trucks off the street and all the pedestrians off the street, and no cars allowed on the street. Or is that a trifle radical, maybe? Well, not a lot, I could tell you that. Oh, sure. I remember when New York used to be a, a, a regular joy, a joy and a pleasure. Now, driving a hack is like trying to swim in molasses. And when you listen to them guys behind me sitting on their horns, amateurs, they take a little noise, get you moving. Eh, I'm put up their teeth with this stuff. The day used to be when I got excited, you know that? Heck. Now I just say to myself, just sit behind a wheel and do what you can. Me, I philosophize. Don't worry, we'll be moving in a minute, lady. That meter goes right on ticking. Whoops, there goes another nickel. Hey, Mommy, he's not charging his cab there. He's charging his rent. Oh, David waiting on the corner. Just philosophize like the driver. I can't, I can't. At least it isn't raining. No, don't say anything. We have crawled a half a block. Mama, shh. Oh, we stopped again. What is it now, driver? Who knows? I think I'll write a letter to the mayor. The mayor knows, but what could he do? So he sends out 20 more cops to clean things up, you know what I mean? So what happens? They clutter up the streets. They, they should throw all the cops off the streets and all the traffic signs and the lights and let us fight it out for ourselves. You know, you might do fast if you got out and walked. If you know I that? wanted to walk, I could have walked in the first place. We might at that, Claudia. We certainly get there faster than this way. You know, honestly, the city sidewalks, they come right up and hit my feet when I walk on them. My feet are exhausted. I simply cannot walk on one more sidewalk, I that's all. I told you to walk, wear low heels coming into town. Not the heels, it's the sidewalks. I'm used to walking on grass. I'm just a country girl at foot. You have sidewalks in Eastbrook. You should have worn low heels. Go out to dinner with David in low heels? What kind of a woman do you think I am? Impractical. Well, I'll admit it's a poor choice between beauty and comfort. These are the shoes David gave me for my birthday, and these are the shoes I shall wear. They look small. I will not go through that again, Mama. They are not small. They may look small, but they don't feel small. You just said your feet hurt. Those were the sidewalks. I didn't know they hurt, too. Very yeah. funny. Don't tell me you don't have sidewalks in Eastbrook. I know. I was there. Remember me? For over six months. Are you sorry you're not there now? I am not. We wouldn't have all this traffic in Eastbrook. In Eastbrook, when you want to get where you're going, you can get there. Sounds very dull. Mm -mm. It may be all right for you old folks, but I like a little excitement. Driver! Uh, driver, your meter keeps on ticking and we're not moving. It's the law, lady. 
I should have known better than to take a fare at 5 o'clock on 5th Avenue. It serves me right. At 5 o'clock, I should be driving around in Queens or Flatbush, New York. Never again. Well, there we go. Hold tight. We might crawl as much as 10 yards, perish forbid. Oh, Mom, I can just see David looking at his watch, pacing up and down, muttering to himself, that woman, that woman. David probably knows exactly him. what has happened. Well, I guess I might as well just sit back and try to relax. I guess I might as well. Driver, what yeah. on earth ever made you become a taxi driver? How can you stand this? Who can stand this? I can't, but what can I do? I used to be in a pinball machine business. Pinball? But, yeah, but, you know, pinballs don't exist anymore in New York. They're oh. against the law, the law says. So, I'm a man without a career. Now I'm driving a hack and driving myself nuts. I love driving a car, but not this, thank you. You know, New York is choking itself to death. Like an octopus, just choking itself to death. If I was smart, I'd pack my bags and I would say, Myrtle, I would say, let's go. And we would go out and live on a prairie I someplace. I think you'd do exactly that. We did. Yeah. Go out and live on a prairie where the space is space. Know what I mean? Mm. Trouble with me, though, is I... I love this town. Lived in it for a long time. I love it like a mother-in-law. One day I want to murder it, and the next day I just couldn't do without it. Well, we're moving again. But the light's red. So the light's red. We're moving. Any objections? No, nope. Red, green, or blue. Let's go. <sighs> Seems better now, doesn't it, Mama? We'll be there in a moment. Oh, I almost wish we wouldn't. Oh, I almost wish we'd be so late, David, to be worried instead of just mad. One should never make an appointment to meet somebody on a corner. Only we could telephone or send him a telegram or something. Mama, maybe he'll think we're run over. You can't cross the street with all this traffic, so how can you get run over? David will realize that oh, much. Oh, how I hate New York. I don't know how you could leave us, Mama. The farm, the baby, the new cap, two dogs. How could you leave us for this? That's exactly it. Baby and the two dogs, the cat, the rooster, the pig, cow and her calf. It was getting too crowded on the farm for oh, me. Robbie, she loved it, and you know it. When you want to come back, we won't have you. I won't want to come back, so I'm safe. <laughs> We've gone four blocks, lady. You know, that's a record. Well, see if you can go just two more, we'll be there. Oh, it'll just take us another five minutes, lady. Just concentrate. Mm. Oh, sure. I'll concentrate, and all the traffic will melt right before my eyes. Wonderful. Sure, only I don't believe in that kind of dribble. Traffic is traffic, and you can't cut through it with no knife. There's the light is changing. Quick, be hurry. Right, just sit back, lady. Just sit back. You know, if I stop sudden, you go flying right through the windshield. You know what I mean? I don't want none of those lawsuits. Just sit back and relax. You heard the nice man, Claudia. Mom, I can see the corner of 49th and Madison. Can you see David? Wait till I put my glasses on. No, I can't see him. You don't suppose he's gone yet, do you? Why should he do a he, thing like that? Oh, well, he told me not to be late. Oh, he'd wait for ten minutes for us. Oh, I'm not so sure. Okay, lady, we're well, moving. You better get your change ready. I no pennies. Look at the meter. Almost a dollar. It's only 60 cents. Well, that's almost a dollar. Once a dollar isn't a dollar bill anymore, it certainly isn't worth it. I'll pay him. Put your money away. I've got it all ready. You have to tip him. I am not satisfied with the service. You're joking, really, I hope. All right, all right, all right. I give him a quarter. A quarter? Yeah. A dime's usual for six blocks. Give him 15 cents. You're joking, really, I hope. Okay, lady, <laughs> here we are. Pile out. <laughs> ah, you and a red hack, you jerk. Get the shit out. Don't you say the ladies are trying to get out of my hack? Here you are, driver, and yeah. it's the correct change. I like that guy. Thank you. Come on, Mama. Doc, you hit your head. Hey, uh, watch your step, ladies. Now, you don't leave no bundles in the back, you know. Those ladies, they're always leaving things behind. No, we have everything. You got your boat gloves? Thank you for the lovely, lovely trip. Oh, think nothing of it, my lady. I hope I pick you up again sometime. Someday when you're trying to get someplace fast, you know what I mean? Oh, well, Mrs. Brown, you see David anyplace? He's not on this corner. He's not across the street. He is not here. Mom, I don't see him. That's impossible. He must be here. There are lots of men waiting for lots of people, but nobody in a gray hat. David was wearing a gray hat. Thank you for telling me. Now I'd recognize him. Mommy, you don't suppose he's... Say it. You don't suppose he's been here and left? Where would he go? To look for us. But where? Where have we been? He can't look for us shopping. Oh, this is awful. I bet he got so furious he just... Maybe he went to your apartment. David wouldn't do that. You have to catch a train. He's not here, and he's always on time, and it's... It's quarter after five. Oh, I hate New York. I hate it. What will we do now? Well, no point in waiting here. Let's go back to your apartment. 
At least David will have the sense to call us there. Well, if you think so. Wouldn't you know this would happen? Mama, if you had the sense to stay in Eastbrook with us where you belong, none of this would have happened. Now you're blaming me. Certainly. Well, obviously, the only good excuse I had for staying in New York was you. I'm flattered. You should be miserable. Oh, David, where are you? Will you ever forgive me? Claudia! Hey, Claudia! Speak of the devil, there he is. Gray hat and all. Across the street, see him? Yep, I see him. Mommy, he looks wild. You said he hates waiting, so no wonder. It's over 15 minutes. Here he comes. Steal yourself. I'm steeled. Remember, it was you who wanted to take a taxi. My own mother, a coward. Hello, mother. Hello, darling. Hello, Hello, David. Oh, terrible traffic. Grabbed the cab to get here faster, but the cab couldn't move. What was that, David? I hated to keep you waiting, but it couldn't be helped. How are you? Have a good day? Oh, 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 yes, fine. Just fine. Considering that we have been waiting here 20 minutes for you. It was 20 minutes, wasn't it, Mama? Yes, just about. We were early. For once, no good for you. I certainly ran into awful traffic. This city gets worse every single day. I've never seen anything like it. What traffic, Mama? David, you had traffic. Well, that's did. strange. The traffic didn't bother us. Not a bit. It's just a matter of whether a person wants to get someplace or whether they don't. Isn't that what you always say, David? Twenty minutes you say you waited? At least. We've been minutes. worrying, too. We certainly have. Well, next time we'll know better, Mama. Experience is the best teacher. Yes, next time we won't break our necks. Well, you won't have to. I'll break them for you. Well, that's a very nice thing to say to a wife whom you've kept waiting hours and hours. And hours. Now, if you two girls have had your fun, allow me to say that you're no artist. No what? No artist. You put it on too thick. What too thick? Claudia hasn't been early in her life in years, and she knows it. There is always a first time, my good man. Well, not with you. Now, look me in the eye. It's hopeless, Claudia. He knows you too well. Well, I... I'd have been early if, if... Only you weren't. Now, come on here. Come on, let's hurry. In shops, at service stations, at the movies, at sports events, you look for the red cooler whenever you want ice-cold Coca-Cola. At home, you need go only as far as the kitchen refrigerator. There stands a white cooler, your own refrigerator, which can supply you with sparkling Coke whenever you want to work refreshed, if you've remembered to put a supply on ice. Why not add Coke to your marketing list today? Tell me, Mr. King, did the children make their train? Uh, they're still walking. i better hurry. If Claudia's high heels hold out. Don't look so concerned, Mrs. Brown. They make the train. Oh, good. I know how I hate rushing and then having to wait around. Well, tell me in confidence. Do you miss Eastbrook? I certainly do. Very much. The countryside, the house, the animals. My grandson. Even uh, Claudia a little? Don't tell her. Well, I even miss that funny old Jared Tucker. In that case, you'll want to be around tomorrow when Jared gets his picture in the Eastbrook paper. I'd love to hear about that. And it's a date for tomorrow. Good. Till then, Mr. King. So long, Mrs. B. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember... Whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola.